Aloha! Welcome to Not AL Streaming Workshops. This video is about resume writing. This video will highlight each part of a resume and provide tips on how to most effectively build one. You can also check out the additional handouts on our website for more tips. Let's make sure we know all the key parts of a resume. Every resume must include your name, contact information, an introduction, education, work experience, and your skills. Okay, let's get started! Number one, and most importantly, your name. Make sure your first and last name is somewhere on your resume and is legible and easy to find on the document, usually front and center at the top of the page. Number two, contact information. Your contact information should also be legible and easy to find. You must include a telephone number and a professional email. A physical address is not required unless specified by location-based jobs, so it may be better to include things such as a LinkedIn profile instead. If you're an artist or digital designer, include a portfolio link or website in this area to showcase your work. Number 3. Resume Introduction A resume introduction or objective should be more than just looking for an entry-level position at X business. This is where you can start customizing the resume to the job you're applying for. This short summary provides insight for the company about your intentions for employment and why they should hire you. Design the objective so that it highlights your skills and how those skills will help the company. Number 4. Education List your most recent education on top and then list the rest in reverse chronological order. Include the name of the school, location of the school, degree earned, area of study, and year of graduation. If you are still currently studying in school, write the expected graduation date instead. Grade point average is optional, and is recommended only if you have a GPA of 3.5 or higher. Number 5, and the next most important, work experience. If you do not have work experience, that is okay. Use volunteer or club experience, internships or summer jobs instead. Write your position title, the company or organization, employment dates, and list your job duties. Try to have 3 to 5 job duties listed in bullet point list format and include the words used in the job listing as buzzwords in your own resume. This example shows that Kimo is applying for a job in which the duties are managing the maintenance and inventory of the university's courses and academic programs. Kimo is able to draw on his experience at the church where he managed the maintenance and inventory of technical equipment and file documents. When describing your job duties, be concise, avoid the word I, and use action words and hard numbers if applicable. Additionally, use past tense verbs for the experience sections you're not currently working in. Keep this consistent throughout the entire resume. It's more important to highlight what you did at your job instead of the position itself. It's likely did much more than what the title describes you as, so it's important to highlight the various responsibilities and tasks you managed. Put the ones that are most relevant to the job you're applying to at the top and the least relevant further down or not included. If your new job is very different from your previous experience, what are the transferable skills from that previous job? Number 6. Your skills You want a mix of hard and soft skills on your resume. Hard skills are technical skills that can be learned and measured such as proficiency in Microsoft Office products, Google Suites, or any specific items you know how to operate, such as a speaker system, Mac iOS devices, and more. Soft skills are interpersonal skills that are personality-based and can be transferred easily between jobs. This includes, but is not limited to, communication, leadership, problem solving, work ethic, and much more. Number 7. Additional content Other things you can include in your resume include your hobbies, certifications, language skills, projects or freelance work, and honors or awards. If the additional information does not relate to the job, do not include it. If you feel like it's relevant to the job and showcases your personalities and or accomplishments, you can include it. Number 8. General formatting tips. Try to keep your resume to one page. Have a legible font, 1 inch margins, and avoid all caps in the content portion. Keep the language concise, visuals professional, and make sure it's easy to navigate. Have clear headings for each of the areas and use typographical emphasis like italics or bold sparingly. There is no one format for the visual aesthetic of a resume, and you should customize it to the job you're applying for. For example, a graphic designer's resume may be colorful and unique, but a business person's resume should keep their information fairly plain. Cleverly arrange the heading so that the resume showcases the best of your abilities first. If your work experience is much more relevant to the job than your education experience, put that first. 
or vice versa, if your degree or education is more relevant to the job than your past career, put that on top. Number nine, a tip for the future. Have a master resume that you can keep adding onto over the years. This will serve as your one-stop shop to help you remember all the tasks and jobs you've had. So then you can pull the information from there for easy access in the future to tailor it to specific jobs. Number ten, proofread. Proofread, proofread, proofread. Take the time to comb over your resume word by word and make sure everything is spelled correctly and flows well. Check that the margins are all straight and that everything is consistent. Don't let simple little mistakes ruin your reputation before it's even begun. This is your employer's first impression of you, so you want it to be impactful and clean. If you ever need help or would like someone to look over your resume, you can make an appointment with the No Ayao Center. We will be happy to help. Thank you for watching. To receive proof of completion of this short training, please complete this quiz below. Contact us in these ways below, and aloha.